we have 648 minus 340. So we need to subtract 3 hundreds and 4 tens. So if we have 6 hundreds and we subtract 3 hundreds, that will give us 3 hundreds and we still have the 48 that we started with, so we have 348. Now we need to subtract 4 tens, which takes us to our answer 308. Now we have 416 minus 120. So if we take away 100, we get to 316. Now we need to take away our two tens. So taking away one ten gets us to 306, and then taking away another ten gives us 296. So we subtracted two tens because we've subtracted 20. So 416 minus 120 equals 296. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 840 minus 250. So if we take away 2 hundreds from 840, we get 640, because 8 minus 2 is 6. Now we need to subtract 5 tens. If we subtract 4 tens, that takes us to 600, and then another 10 leaves us with 590. So we subtracted 4 tens, then 1 10, so we subtracted 5 tens altogether, and that gives us our answer 590. Now pause the video and subtract 550 from 831. So we need to subtract 5 hundreds, then 5 tens. If we have 8 hundreds and we subtract 5 hundreds, that leaves us with 3 hundreds, and of course we still have the 31 that we started with. Now we need to subtract 5 tens, but rather than subtracting 5 tens all in one go, Let's subtract 3 tens to give us 301. And now how many more tens do we need to subtract? We need to subtract 2 more tens, and that gives us 281. So we subtracted 30, then 20, so we subtracted 50 altogether. So 831 minus 550 equals 281.